Hello, this is Shesha Chalam from Ashwagad, Mysore. So, we have been uh, going through the videos of uh, Jupiter's transit for the year 2023 and uh, for the first half of 2024, which is going to happen, which is happening in the sign of Aries. He has just entered into Aries. So, for all the Rashis, we are discussing about the effects, the results. So, today we will be discussing about the effects of this transit for the sign of Leo. The main point here is Jupiter is the Adipati or Lord of Amula Trikona Sthana of Jupiter which falls in the sign of Sagittarius which is a Agni Tattva Rashi. This is the most important point. And because of this particular placement, it becomes a Yoga Karaka planet, favorable planet for the sign of Leo. Being the fifth lord sitting in the ninth house, it's an extremely spiritual transformation. It's a very good moment. So, the transit of <coughs> Jupiter in the ninth house for Leo being the, uh, let us go into the chart so that I can explain. So, the transit of Jupiter, you know, for Leo being the fifth lord and the eighth lord in the ninth house is a very favorable transit. The Veda point for this transit. So, what is a Veda? It is, an, it is a Rashi or a sign which obstructs the transit results of Jupiter. Whether it is benefic or malefic, it obstructs it. It checks it. That is the correct word. Check. So in English, it's like it's like as though you know uh, suddenly there is a silence and two people are facing each other with you know guns pointed, you know loaded. Both have not pulled the trigger, but that is the Veda. That is there is a stalemate. So nobody acts. He doesn't run or show his back because this guy will shoot him. So. This guy also will not turn his back to him because he will get shot. So, that particular point is called as a stalemate or a Veda. So, that is what we call as check. The check is developed in the 10th house. So, no planet is going to transit the 10th house. Uh, no big planet like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu are going to transit the 10th house in this uh, coming uh, period of 2023, March. Uh, May till 2024 May. So, we, in this period you will only get sun till uh, mid of June 2023. So, after that you might get a little bit of Mercury and some other planets, small planets like moon which keeps coming. So, these are all called minor Vedas, but they are not the major ones. Major ones are very difficult. So, let us go into the results and understand what results does Jupiter give when it is in the when it is transiting the ninth from any given Rashi, but here it is particularly for Leo because it is the fifth lord and the eighth lord. So, there will be no Veda after sun moves out of this uh, Rashi. By the time Mercury also will move out, you will have most of the planets on this particular you know, belt. So, uh, there will positive results can be expected. And it can be felt in full because uh, even after a particular period, uh, see people keep telling that there is Rahu effect on it till November, somewhere in November, mid-November, 14th or 15th November, Rahu is going to come into Pisces. But the parting of Rahu towards Pisces and Jupiter towards the midpoint of Aries will happen very soon. So, I will not take consider Rahu. I will only consider Jupiter. So, taking that, it will boost the native's confidence and he will be prosperous, happy, wealthy. So, this is a very soft position. This is not the practical position of the 10th transit or the practical position of the second transit of Jupiter. 10th transit is a very tough transit. We already saw that yesterday when we spoke about uh, Jupiter's transit happening to the sign of uh, Cancer. But uh, the second transit of Jupiter, a fantastic transit that will happen for Pisces. We will come to that later. So, 
the chances of higher studies abroad travel for studies or getting into a good internship is seen in this particular period gain of respectable position honor at workplace and success in both job and business is also seen so when i am telling that there is success in business you should also understand that the transit of saturn which is happening in the 7th house should be considered here the lone transit of jupiter and its effects are being spelt out but if you are considering business in a serious way and you want to invest you know a good portion of your savings then please understand that saturn's transit uh, from leo in the 7th house you have to you know mix it up and then see what the uh, you know combined result is going to give you if the combined effect is going to be negative then better not do it so individually jupiter is going to find, give fantastic results for business entrepreneurship for leo this year so i we will come to the saturn transit later after this jupiter transit we'll do it because jupiter takes only one year to transit saturn will be there for another two years so we can do it with a little bit of more we have more time there so good news will you know uh, for this particular rashi that is that uh, people who were trying to have you know progeny they were going through difficulties with jupiter in the eighth eighth house transit for the last one year might be they have been going through lot of medical checkups and medical treatment this year there is a very good chance they will have a good news or a good result with regard to children or conceiving and happiness through children is also seen so that is what this uh, 5000 9000 transit usually when jupiter does that you get comfortable life happy news good uh, happy journeys happy feeling tourism so it's more of enjoyment and more of satisfaction related kind of a contentment related kind of results rather than here we are not telling that you will build 10 story building you will make a lot of money that's not what we are you know hinting at can get into business with siblings positive support and bonding is seen this is to be understood by the aspect of jupiter so aspects of jupiter so jupiter is aspecting leo itself the first house it's a fantastic aspect always the aspect of jupiter is taken to be good so it is aspecting the third house and that is why this point of siblings and then it is aspecting the fifth house and that is why the point of progeny so self development development of siblings interrelationship between sibling and the native development of children interrelationship between children and native can be very well seen in this particular transit of jupiter so next is overall positive period for this particular rashi and uh, they will get involved into religious activities spiritual activities with regard to religious functions ritualistic functions uh, more particularly it is not ketu to sit and meditate under a tree in front of a river no it is not saturn to go into an ashram and start doing service you know sweeping the ashram it is jupiter it would want to be in a platform bring in people do a havan do a puja go to a temple or go to a church make a big congregation of people you know put a dais you know big things they are big jupiter is big they want to plan everything big so religious activities going for pilgrimage doing charity you know uh, people who can aid into charity for you know uh, mass marriages free donation camps uh, like uh, you know donating wheelchairs donating uh, medical equipment these are the things what people can do when uh, jupiter is transiting in the ninth house and uh, they can also get this is a very important point people keep asking me that when will i get a guru when will i get a mentor when jupiter transit the ninth from your rashi that is a nice time for you you know it's not that every tran time jupiter transits the ninth house you will not get but sometimes it so happens that it can also get a combined effect of other dasha bhuktis in your chart which might trigger a beautiful time period so a good 
you know time for getting a good mentor uh, guru's support and uh, also you know uh, in this period of time uh, this is a very be beautiful uh, transit of jupiter in the ninth house um, i would only give one warning in this particular uh, period is because of that small glitch of uh, rahu and uh, jupiter being in the same rashi i would always say that when you are taking a decision for abroad travel or suddenly leaving a job think twice or take an advice from somebody do not suddenly take any impulsive decision because the ninth house is also the 12th to the 10th house usually retirements you know uh, resignations terminations all this happen from the ninth it sparks from the ninth and rahu is there still it has not yet gone it's going to 12th yeah yeah it is going to be 12th from jupiter so please be a little cautious when you are you know in your job be a little humble listen to people you don't have to agree to them you listen to them give some time and simply walk do your work so thank you very much for today's class so, uh, yeah please answer one query a person has asked that whether this will happen the results benefic or malefic only if a person is going through jupiter dasha recently he had a no, nothing like that the dasha will add up to the benefit benefic results of a native and it will be more effective you know if you are going to get it you will get it without any difficulty and it will be easy so that's a good effect if there is a good jupiter dasha if it is a negative jupiter dasha then you will have all the trouble in your life because jupiter himself uh, when it becomes negative it's a very tough dasha and there is one more query people are already asking me continuously that uh, whether it has to be seen from moon ascendant i'll once again specifically tell ascendant for all the physical things of this world all that is tangible the things you can touch you can see you can smell you can taste you can you know here all this is physical entities emotional entities like you know having a pocket full of money having a content sleep these are all very important that is moon so you have to see both ascendant and moon put together so thank you very much